guys, it's Adana. I have a really quick announcement for you. If you're trying to get into PA school, I want to help you. That's why I'm offering a 60-minute consultation session with me personally via the phone or video chat where I will help you personally develop a plan to help get you into PA school. For the video with the full details on how we're going to get that done, go ahead and head to the description box below because there'll be a link there or it will be pinned to the first comment on this video. Or you can always just go on to my website at adanathepa.com and schedule your appointment today. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Hey, switched it up on you guys. So, what's up you guys? It's Adana coming in from the other side with another video for you guys. Um, so you guys, I have this video on my heart to make for you all because um, I know that a lot of you have this question, how to get your healthcare experience because a lot of places are requiring like 500, 1,000, 2,000 hours of healthcare experience prior to getting into PA school. Oh, hell no! And although that sounds like a lot, which I mean, it is honestly, like if we want to be honest about things, you know, that's what over a year of work. Um, but hey, you can do it. And this video is going to tell you exactly how you can do it. So that is what I'm going to be talking about today, how to get your healthcare experience. I know that I already made a video on my personal um, kind of road to healthcare experience. So I'm like a big proponent, you guys, of making things easy. You know, like I want like the quick, easy route, but also I'm still getting like the required information and like quality information. So my like my main thing is always going to be go ahead and get your CNA license or GNA license, whatever they call it in your state or what whichever one you want to work with. Go ahead and do that. I went ahead and did that. I did it a little later on in life, I guess you could say, but it worked and I'm pretty sure that it helped me out. I feel like that is the fastest way. Yes, there are other ways that you can do it. I know that the community college that I went to to take some of my prerequisites that I needed to retake because they were already too old over, they offer different things like a surgical tech, um, there was like something called a PCA or something like that, um, radiology tech, a uh, micro, what do they call it? Like, it's basically like a hematologist or, um, you know, like a medical laboratory science tech. So things like that, they offer those two year certificate or degree programs where you can have a specialty and then you can get working. You can go to the hospital and work as a surgical tech. You can go to the lab at an urgent care or just at like LabCorp and work as a um, medical laboratory tech. So there are different options that you can take that take a little bit longer, but I'm all about like, what's the fastest way that I can do that? And to me, that's being a CNA or um, going ahead and taking the test and becoming a GNA. Because it only takes you guys, like there are programs that will allow you to do it with in four to eight weeks, literally a month to two months out of your life and you have your certificate, you're, you're certified, you're able to go and now find a job and get those healthcare experience hours. I know my program was six weeks, but I did see some programs for four weeks, but it just wasn't feasible for me because I still had to work. So if you still have to work or if you still have to go to school, um, it might be better for you to do one of those programs that are a little bit longer, one of the eight week programs that you can do in the evening and just kind of knock it out right then and there. And then over the summer, you can work or if you're in school you can work at night if you're able to do that because not everybody can pull you know like those 12 16 hour i'm in school for eight hours and then i'm working for seven or i'm working for eight not everyone can do that so work at your pace but i definitely i definitely suggest go ahead and become a cna or an ma that will allow you the opportunity to get working sooner and then you can even kind of move up in the ladder like maybe you're at your job for two or three years and you're you've now your scope of practice is even larger because you're um your provider is allowing you to do more at their practice. And that is gonna look really good longevity and then a broadened scope of practice looks great. But if you do have time, definitely go ahead and do like an EMS or be an EMT. They take longer, but 
your 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 critical thinking skills are going to be off the chart. You're already going to be like pretty familiar with body systems and how things work and what an MI might look like in an elderly patient as opposed to an MI in a young female because it looks different. So you're going to have like a wealth of knowledge already going into PA school. So those are really some good options for you to get your healthcare experience. But if you're trying to get something in quick, easy, the what, what does my teacher say? The quick and dirty. Like you're just trying to get in there, get it done, and then start working definitely go ahead and try and Google, just go online four to eight weeks. You can see if you want to do the four week, six week or eight week program, um, you can get it done and you can start working and you'll be well on your way to getting that uh, 500 to 2000 hours that some schools require. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, if I didn't really answer the question in a way that you felt comfortable, go ahead and shoot me an email if you have more questions. I will definitely get to it. I am in school, you guys, disclaimer, I'm still in school, so uh, I may not get to it immediately, but I really try and get to you guys' comments within like two weeks max, so. Um, your emails, comments, all of that stuff. Uh, if I don't get back to you within two weeks, uh, my bad. I'm at fault. I'ma work on it, okay? But I definitely try to do that within two weeks. So um, just hit me up on Instagram at Adana the PA, or you can send me an email, and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, see ya.